Good morning, I am Paulita Reno from Agas Parish Community Library. Today I would like to share some pictures and videos on how my grandma, Abelina Paul, a 89 years old woman from the same village, make her candle be wax. As the month of August arrived, my grandma started to prepare for the finados in by cleaning the cotton by removing the seeds so the cotton be ready to untangle and turn into thread. This utensil my grandma used to plait the cotton is about 200 years. She said it was a gift from her grandmother and it's still used by her today. But wants to teach her great granddaughters so this utensil stays in the family. As she knew the amount she used, then prepared the next step, which is the plot to form the candle wick. She said when young she could make up to 60 rolls of candle wick. This year she did 15 rolls. She had enough time to have it ready by mid of October. Then the last week of October, she was ready to start the candle by filtering the wax. This step is for all the dirt be removed so when the next day she had a clean wax. Grandma used a thin cloth to do the filtering. The melting wax can only be stirred by a thin stick, no spoon can be used. So she had her candle wick ready cut in size. Then it is submerged in the hot melting wax. When removed from the wax, someone has to hold it for a few minutes to cool down immediately to have to roll on a flat surface so it stays straight and smooth. Then the dripping of wax is done until it's thick enough. She used a small container called a widow in Spanish. This is similar to a hikara. This may look easy or simple doing, but it's really need to have desire and love for your disease and also not to lose the tradition we are losing today. Being close to the heat and smoke for almost 3 to 4 hours is really exhausting. This is the time it takes us doing 26 candle B wax. Thanks to my grandma, her great grandchildren, including myself, and hope whoever see this video get an idea, especially our young children, how are these candles made. Thank you. Hope you enjoy.